Uh, what about uh, Ganacho for Manchester United? He scored the only goal in that Real Sociedad win. Wasn't enough for them to top no. the group. But again, another player showing real confidence when given an opportunity. There's a difference and I feel like I'm being a bit unfair here because Ganacho is ready to challenge anyone in that forward line. I'm watching a Just player. Just from what you've seen. No, I've seen a bit of him before. Yeah. But he's so tenacious. He does one thing really brilliant. And first of all, Jaden Sancho was brought in to do a role at the football club. And that would be to get to bylines for me, get to places, take the, make defenders feel uncomfortable. And he's not done that. Mm. Whether he's played right or left, he's not made fullbacks be afraid of him, scared. Ganacho's completely different. He's scaring the life out of fullbacks. He's just so wants to get. He, he does a thing that very few wingers can do brilliantly is run across the line of a defender and try and get him behind them and then the defender gets scared because they just think he's got, all he wants to do is get to a position where he's either going to set someone up or try and score himself which he eventually did mm. um, and he's dangerous because he, he's now looking that you could actually make a good case that he could play in the United team now because if you look at Sancho and where he is and how he's played I've seen more in 45 minutes or a game than Sancho's done since he's joined United, really. Well, that's alarming to hear that, though, isn't it? Well, I, I'm sorry, Nat, but he's he, he's just... I like the tenacity of him and the way he's just got hunger and desire to get to uh, to places on the pitch. And, yeah, you can see he's an angry kid in some ways where he just... He, he wants to be really direct. And I think that sits really well for what United need. I'm sure you saw and heard the post-match reaction from Bruno Fernandes talking about him. Yeah. And his attitude has been brought into question. Ganacho, I'm talking about yeah. here, and that's something that Fernandes mentioned about how the start of the season, pre-season, his attitude wasn't right, and that's why he wasn't getting his chances. But there's been a, a shift, obviously. Yeah. listening. Uh, even Eric Ten Hag spoke about this exactly the same thing as well last week as well, um, about his attitude had been a problem for whatever we don't 100% know exactly what he means by that but that was a, a something that had been highlighted um you're talking there about you, you have to have a sort of swagger about you don't you if you're going to make it as a yeah. professional player because you've got to have that inner belief in yourself well, especially at such a young age trying to break into a team that's littered with stars for example i'm not saying that his attitude pre-season was correct and that he should have an attitude in terms of being disrespectful or whatever it is that could have been a problem but Ultimately, I'm saying yeah. you've got to have that inner belief, a bit of arrogance about you. Well, I've always said that, you know, there's horse whisperers and people talk to horses and whatever. There's also football whisperers and they talk to you. <laughs> so you better listen. Yeah. And if you don't, I didn't listen and I was never as gifted as all these kids we're talking about, OK? But I didn't listen many a time as a youngster and ignored the information given to me. Now, they're all trying to help you from the manager to the players to become a better player. And you, it's not, if you're a bit wild in your ways and you think you're, you know, you're entitled to a place in the team, and a lot of people might think, yeah, you are good enough. I always said, Ravel Morrison's one of the best youngsters mm -hmm. I've ever seen. But he didn't listen enough and he didn't take things on board. And I've seen him do things in games that not many people could do. And Ravel's, Ravel Morrison was a great Man United product that ended up losing his way. Now, you can easily do that if you don't listen. Was Fernandez right then to call him out post match? Yeah, players will call you out in the dressing room. Man United, but even post match after he's just scored the winning goal There's, in his uh, highlight of his career so far for maybe Manchester United. Absolutely, because that's really? what would have happened in the Man United dressing room. Yeah, that's the dressing with, room. Yeah, no, but even with you know with that, they will still take it out to other people. They'll say, yeah, but there's a one big question mark on him. You know, how, is he going to be? that type of player for the next decade mm. or is he going to be an in-and-out player that when he, he thinks he de deserves a team a spot in the team you, honestly, don't no. get ahead of yourself Don Howe did it to yeah. me and he spoke to other people about me and I, I know I'm, I'm, I'm silly to even compare but I had a conversation with Don Howe one day and it was in and I, I wondered after oh, sorry I stopped wondering afterwards why Don had such a big impact on so many young players at Arsenal because he would pull you and sometimes let other people know, whether it was journalists and other people around, that this kid needs to learn. And if he mm -hmm. does, he'll be one head of a player. And uh, I think Ganacho, there's no problem calling him out because if he listens and he can do what he can do <laughs> and he matures, he's going to be one head of a player. I was really... When I watched someone and I thought, tell you what, this, look, this kid's got the lot. He really has. He just wants to run at players. Yeah. Commit them. Got that, them, make got them. that drive. Yeah. 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 Uh, some exciting talent then uh, we saw in midweek coming through.